Matchup of Southpaws here. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Lands the right hand. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Submission defense there. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, nice straight left there. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Beautiful strike. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knees right into the midsection. Strong straight left there. Let's go, let's get the Just out of the range with that right hand. Lands with the right hand. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh, nice right hand. 26 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Kick now by Diaz. That's a big strike right there. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponent. And this looks like the start of that. Lance flush with that right hand. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. The season coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Great time. Oh, yeah, he gets the double leg takedown now. Just over two minutes to go. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to... Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag armbar here. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now, DC, trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Look at the angle of that nice body. How good is that right hand? 
Round two straight ahead. Round two now. Nate Diaz versus Dustin Ford. have landed for Nate Diaz. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against Dustin Ford. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he can there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, nice jab. Nice. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Diaz. Fourier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of... Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. now just misses big kick well his corner was pretty urgent after round one a little bit lackluster there in that opening round he has certainly picked up the pace here and as a result he has taken control of this second round diaz gets caught with that punch nice defense there huge block just a slip there
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Diaz. and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch by Poirier. Visibly limping here. Blocks the shot. Transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Right punches there. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. 116 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Dustin Poirier. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Escape DC. Might be a submission attempt here. Looks pretty tight here, DC. He can find it. It's over. John, it's over. Oh, wow. Oh! And he's out. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. So what he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions are what gets you submitted. And right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Poirier's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to fight down on the oh, elbow. Oh, he's right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And they set. One minute. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier round. Oh! Certainly, a 
exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moments. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He's... <laughs>